a warm welcome to this new session my name is ms prachi vani and today we will talk about kitchen stewarding so this video we'll talk about importance of kitchen stewarding responsibilities of the team various machines used in the department and equipments now let's talk about importance of the department this is one of the important sub department of the fnb department and food production kitchen stewarding contributes to the hygienic smooth and clean operations of the food and beverage production and service department the department reports to the executive chef but works very closely with the entire food and beverage department kitchen stewarding is a backbone of the operations of both the departments there's a small area which is attached to this department is called as a wash up area so what are the duties of this department they are mainly as washing kitchen pots and pans after major meals are cooked cleaning and maintenance of hot plate section maintaining kitchen equipment and making sure they are clean all the time garbage disposal at regular interval polishing silverware in case if it is getting used in the operations pest control as and when schedule carrying heavy equipments to a designated area gas connection and upkeep of tandoor as both are tricky to handle and clean also plating of silverware as and when required maintaining cleanliness in the kitchen and fnb back area inventory control of the equipments which are coming in the department now the typical kitchen stewarding layout will look like this this is the entry from a particular food and beverage outlet then there is a tray holder wherein all the equipments are kept this is where the center table comes and this is where the soil plates will be kept and the leftover will be put in the in in this particular bin then they are loaded once they are loaded uh, the hot water is used to clean the plates then they are dipped in soap solutions and further to that they are again washed with the clean water this is where you then keep the clean equipments to wipe them now a typical technique of cleaning is called as wash rinse and sanitize so kitchen utensils can be manually or machine washed in the pot wash area by using a simple technique called as wash rinse and sanitize a three sink method can be used for the set technique so there are three sinks for individual functions as for wash one for rinse second and for sanitizing the equipments there will be a third sink now the first step here is scrap and pre rinse the utensils then wash with detergent now the detergent has to be approved by uh, the department in preferably hot water rinse in hot water to remove detergent and to avoid chemical poisoning sanitize in warm water using chlorine or directly with the help of steam or hot air then drip the water dry them wipe them and send it to the respective department please remember detergent nowadays has to be approved by the guidelines which are given by fssi this is how a typical three sink method will look like so this is where sort scrap and rinse uh, so you scrap the uh, soiled uh, plate here because you would definitely have leftover food there now then you clean dishes with soapy water rinse them and sanitize them and put them back in the tray after air drying them now uh, there are various types of dishwashers that you will find in various hotels they are based on the automation that they use the first one is manual soil plates are cleaned by hand or brush machine 
so here the use of any kind of um, automatic help is much less semi automatic is where salt wares are loaded manually in the dishwashing machine automatic conveyor is where salt wares are loaded in the basket kept on the conveyor and then the transportation happens on the belt flight conveyor is where salt wares within the pegs are mounted on the conveyor and then operators then supervise the automatic transportation the third one is this automatic and then we have flight conveyor so now the use of dishwasher will be based on the kind of operation you have this is how a flight conveyor will look now this is obviously when you have a super busy operations now there is something called as brush type machine here dishes are scrubbed in hot detergent with revolving brush and then they are rinsed and sterilized there is a agitator water machine where baskets of dishes are immersed in deep tanks of hot detergent water these baskets are then given a final hot water rinse for sanitization there is also something called as spray machine is where dishes are neatly stacked which then slides into a machine they are sprayed with hot water and detergent then the rack moves to the sterilization section where again hot water is showered then they are dried when they are passes out in the air the second one and we have spray machine so the picture that you see is of a spray machine now we have silver cleaning methods now remember silver cleaning is a key responsibility of kitchen stewarding department in the large establishments the silver room is a different department where required stock of silver equipments are stored the large silvers will include flats salver soup tureen cloche etc now these are the main cleaning methods burnishing polo with plate powder and silver dip now burnishing machine there is a large drum which is half filled with ball bearings now the drum has a rod in the center used for putting the handles of the cups and jugs so they won't break when you are putting them just like that in the drum the cutlery is then put into the drum the soap solution is added to avoid friction which will cause scratches which will have scratches on the equipments which you certainly do not want and then the machine can be either attached to a direct water supply or the water can be poured manually the other methods are silver dip here pink color liquid is taken into a plastic bowl silver to be cleaned is then put in the wire basket and the basket is then dipped in the plastic bowl after few minutes the equipments can be removed and rinsed in warm water and don't forget to polish them now when we talk about polywith this is a aluminum sheet with holes which is to be used uh, with an animal or galvanized bowl so the polywith is placed in a bowl with a soda and a boiling water so a chemical reaction in between boiling water polywith soda and silver is going to happen and that will tarnish that will help tarnish to be lifted silver can be removed from the chemical water and rinsed in the boiling water and further polished plate powder is a paste of pink powder with little methylated spirit it is made into a paste and then it is rubbed on the silver to remove the tarnish these are various equipments used in kitchen stewarding Uh, automatic dishwashing machine ice cube machine high pressure spray cleaner glass cleaning machine floor scrubbing machine mobile tray master conveyor belt for crockery auto lift movable bain mari loaders trolley warming cabinet silver polishing machine dish landing table and a garbage container on that note hope you all paid attention to the video Now the quiz link is in the video description please go ahead and attempt the quiz
Thank you for watching with patience. I will see you for the next session. See you all soon.